Hey everybody, it's Wilbits, and we are starting a new thing today. There's a little game called Professor Layton and the Last Spectre. Whoa, if you're not familiar, this is the first game in the prequel trilogy. Ooh, I get to enter a name. The prequel trilogy of the Professor Layton series. We're just going to type in, because branding is important. We're just going with Wilbits. This is a work of fiction. The characters, groups, and events portrayed within are in no way intended. Well, I'll Long never know ago, what in a lawless age, a pack of bandits invaded a small village. No! Amidst the chaos, a terrified young farm girl played her flute to drown out the madness. Oh. As the music spiraled high into the sky, a giant specter appeared above her. She begged the specter to destroy the bandits, and it swiftly obeyed. The town was saved. Yay! And the specter vanished just as quickly as it had appeared. Yay! But the farm girl knew that in times of danger, she needed only to play the flute, and the specter would appear again. It's a good. It's a good ghost. A quaint tale, wouldn't you say? I've heard I'm quainter. Master. I think the time has come for us to pen the next chapter. Of course, master. Who's this guy with the droopy face? I wish this was on the other screen. Well, what do you think, Luke? Do you see anything yet? No, nothing. <sighs> I'm still having a tough time buying all of this. It sounds like some scary bedtime story. It's so expensive. Is this even possible? Well, we'll soon find out. And a poor little boy who predicts where the giant specter will appear. <sighs> so what now? I mean, what if this thing never even shows up? Uh, hmm? What is... What on earth could that be? A flute? It sounds like... A it sounds like flute? music! <laughs> music! I've heard of this! Uh, the flute! It must be... <gasps> it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex! To the window! To the wall! <gasps> oh. oh, that's no big deal. It's just, uh, Plankton. What is that thing? It's me, Plankton! Look out, SpongeBob! I'm gonna get your Krabby Patty recipe! Finally! Can this be? <laughs> oh, how do I work this infernal camera? Look out, everyone! Karen! Computer wife! Finally seeing this dark giant made me even more determined to help the professor keep his word. Together, we would shine the light of truth upon this ghastly shadow. Professor Layden and the Last Spectre. So, we meet again. Getting a lot more cutscenes than I was expecting. Top of the morning! Why, thank you very much. Professor? Oh, Professor? Professor, a letter just came for you. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> I'm hungover as crap. Rosa. <sighs> Sounds like someone was up researching all night. Again. It's no wonder the other professors are so intimidated by you. Oh, they just think that I'm some young upstart. You work too hard, Professor. It's no good. By the way, Dean Delmona came by and said he needed to speak to you. And uh, what is this? Today. Oh, thank goodness. Please cut off that conversation. It sounds so boring. Clark. After all these years? Superman? 
Rosa, I'm going out. I. Oh. Is that food? Oh, Thank must, you, must have a pot of tea. That's I enough. I hope he remembers to eat something. Nice car. Wow. Layton, this chick is way out of your league. Way out of your league. What was that about? <sighs> nice to see you again, Professor Layton. Meow. And you are? Clark Kent, Superman. Why didn't Dean Diomona tell you? Oh, we're on we're in the sprites now. Oh, and things are happening over here, so we can we can go back tell to normal. What? I'm Emmy Eltava, your new assistant. Is this whole thing voice acting? Call me Emmy. I won't have to do anything. I can I'm just sorry. sit back and You're solve my... puzzles. Assistant? You do know what an assistant is, don't you? No, well, you can <laughs> assist me. Of course. I'm sorry, Miss Altava. Hopefully with but... puzzles. Because they're gonna be hard. please, Emmy, and stop apologizing so much. All right, Emmy. So sorry. But it seems that there has been some sort of mistake here. Oh, I don't think so, Professor. Dean Delmona hired me himself. It seems that you have been too busy to attend your departmental meetings lately. Is that right? Well, I suppose there might be some truth to that. However... Sounds to me like if anyone needs an assistant, it's you. So, from now on, I'll be the backup on all your projects. Got it? Great! I can't wait to get started! I, 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 can I have some time to think about, to think about this? No? I all wasn't right. too surprised the professor didn't remember me. It had been some time since our first meeting, after all. And clearly he had a lot on his mind. Which is exactly why he needed an assistant like me. It was my first day on the job, and I was ready for anything. Or so I thought. <laughs> we still had yet to meet the young boy who would help us unravel the strangest mystery I could have ever imagined. His name was SpongeBob SquarePants. So what perplexing mystery are we hot on the trail of now? Why would you ask that? Well, you're off to somewhere in quite a hurry. Something must have piqued your interest. <laughs> that intuition will serve you well. When it's time for puzzles. What's this? A letter? This is how Leighton met Luke. Very good. I received it about an hour ago. Go ahead, read it aloud. Herschel, my <laughs> dear old friend. I must earnestly seek your help again. I'm fighting a civil war. Our little town is in the most extraordinary predicament. Four score and seven night, years ago. A mysterious giant shrouded in fog has been laying waste to our homes. I am convinced you can help stop this madness. Please, come soon. That looks like Abraham Lincoln, right? Clark. Clark, right? That's not just me being crazy. A giant? Her? Huh. That's a... How well do you know this person? Not very. He's probably crazy. Clark and I go back a long way. I can't imagine he would fabricate stories for no reason. I find the other message in the letter very interesting as well. Other message? <laughs> Uh-oh! Puzzle number one. A secret message. For ten pickerats. Now we're doing something. Herschel, my dear old friend, I must earnestly seek your help again. Our little town is in the most extraordinary predicament. At night, a mysterious giant shrouded in fog has been laying waste to our homes. I am convinced you can help stop this madness. Please come soon. Regards, Clark. Enter the hidden message below. Use the style slide the letters in the empty slots. Once you've arranged the tiles to spot the hidden message, touch submit. You can't find the answer by simply reading the letter normally. The hidden message is seven letters long. The body of the letter is seven lines long. Keep this fact in mind and you'll figure it out. Um, I can already tell if we take the first line in each sentence on this, we see H E L P S O S. Help. 
S O S. I'll handle this one, Professor. Boom. Oh, we're starting easy. We're starting hitting. easy just to make sure, just to make sure that I'm not a dum dum. That that hint in the instructions was maybe a little too severe. It pointed me right at it. But that's fine. We're fine. We're getting warmed up. We're getting loosened up. Everybody got your puzzle your puzzle hats on, right? You got your thinkers, you got your noodles, you ready to go in? All about picarats. Picarats are points that indicate a puzzle's difficulty. The more picarats a puzzle is worth, the tougher it is. When you submit an incorrect answer for a puzzle, the number of picarats you can earn from that puzzle decreases, so think carefully before answering. Once you've beaten the game and saved, go to the bonuses section and load your game file. From there, you can enter the top secret area, where a number of fun extras are waiting for you. The more prick rats you earn, the more content you unlock. Ooh, motivation for doing puzzles well! I found this secret message using the first letter of each line. Emmy, you just may turn out to be quite valuable as an assistant after all. Oh, well, thank you, Professor. That means a lot coming from you. Help SOS. Why do they need to hide this in some sort of code? My question as well. Clark and I have been friends for many years. If he wanted to tell me something, he wouldn't have to hide it. I'm not yet certain what this means. Ooh, how mysterious. My first day on the job, and it's already so Leighton-esque. Leighton-esque? What on earth does that... Emmy, had you heard of me before today? Heard of you? Of course I've heard of you. Oh, I know everything about you, Professor. Herschel Layton, at age 27, became youngest professor in the history of Gressenheller University. Published in numerous academic journals, which I could recite chronologically if you like, astute intellect and pre preternatural skills of observation have been utilized by Scotland Yard to solve some of London's most difficult criminal cases. Single, 34 years old, and Capricorn, I made that last part up, just a guess. Am I right? Well, you've certainly done your homework. I can see why Dean Delmona hired you. Anyway, at the next stop, I'm going to ask you to get out and please never come back ever again. Thank you. When I asked Dean Delmona about the position, I told him I wouldn't take no for an answer. Interesting. May I ask why you were so intent on working with me? Hmm. He doesn't remember. Me? Hmm? Um, so, where did you say we are headed, Professor? I didn't. Emmy, if you are to be my assistant, we must set a few rules. First of all, take your hand off of my knee. That does not mean place it further up on my leg. As an English gentleman, I can never allow you to follow me into a dangerous situation. That sounds reasonable. Let's just remember that there are exceptions to every rule. English gentleman, haha, <laughs> you are funny, Professor. Yes, well, thank you. In answer to your question, we are headed to the town of Mist Hallery. Mist Hallery? Mist Hall Mist Hallery? Why is that name familiar? About six months ago, some ancient remains were discovered there. You may remember have reading about it in the Gibberish Times. You, <laughs> you probably read about it in the Times. Yes, I remember reading that the, fa that the fabled Golden Garden might be located in Mist Hallery. And now a close friend of yours who lives in Miss Allery has sent an urgent plea for help. A great archaeological find linked to a mysterious letter, all surrounded by an air of danger. I can't imagine the situation possibly being more Leighton-esque. Emmy, can you refrain from saying, oh, never mind. Let's review the major mysteries in our story. Touch a mystery for more details. Leighton received a letter from his old friend Clark that held a mes hidden message within. Why would Clark use such a roundabout way to enlist his aid? It was written with a typewriter. I must say it's very unlike Clark to write this way. He usually used his computer. The village of Mistallery is said to lie over the remains of a great city of gold built by an ancient civilization. Does it truly exist, or is it merely legend? Article in the Time put forth a theory that the Golden Garden lies somewhere there. Okay. Has a missing piece in her puzzle that only Leighton can solve. I... Can't imagine what that means. Haven't the foggiest. Yeah! Let's save it! Oh. I guess the first one. Very well. The Fog of Mist Hallery. Or Mist Hallery. I can't tell if I'm supposed to be thinning that middle consonant. 
Oh, well this this normally makes a really nice two-piece thing, but I guess I've I've messed it up. So this is Miss Valerie, huh? It feels a little eerie. Miss Valerie is known for its thick fog. Some say the town is straight out of a fairy tale. Not any fairy tale I ever read. Okay, tap anything interesting. The wheels are caked in mud from the road. They'll need a wash. It says you can't swim here. Fishing is allowed, though. I'm afraid I don't have any fishing equipment with me. I change the oil in the scooter regularly. The river is pretty impressive. Several canals flow through the town and into the river here. Well, there's certainly no danger of a drought hiding here. What's that on the top of that hill? It appears to be a house. Think maybe that's where your friend Mr. Triton lives? It seems a bit ominous for Clark's tastes, but perhaps. I've got a strange feeling about that place. Something about it. The Clark Triton. Is he Luke's daddy? Ooh, here comes someone. Maybe he knows where we can find Mr. Triton. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Hello, my friends. Welcome to me salary. I'm Aldous Charmed. Nice hit. Let me show you something the locals keep top secret. Tap that wooden box with your stylus. But tap it like you mean it. Not just once, and not just twice. This crate looks sealed, but let's investigate further. Leave it to me. I got it. We got a hit coin. Yeah. Beautiful. She sounds like the sun. This, my friends, is a hint coin. When you find a puzzle you cannot solve, use one of these lovelies. Spin them wisely, for they are in limited supply. If you squander them, I will not dry your tears. I won't do it. Not after the last guy. I won't do it ever again. Hint coins are hidden in many places, so if you see anything suspicious, be bold and tap away. And that, my friends, will serve you well in Miss Tallery. I must go now. Such humility challenges the hair. <laughs> And with that, he's gone. What an interesting fellow. We didn't even get to ask him if he knows where your friend lives, Professor. That's all right for now. Oddly enough, there was no return address on Clark's letter. Well, I'm sure someone in town knows him. Let's ask around. I think I bought a car once at Clark Triton Lincoln. Good idea, Amy. Let's go over how to move about the town. Use the stylus to tap the shoe icon on the touchscreen. Arrows indicating the direction you may go will appear. Tap an arrow to move in that direction. Easy enough. Tap the shoe, tap the arrow, and go. Very good. Why don't you go ahead and give it a try? But I was... I'm not done looking for coins. Maybe there is none. So sad. So sad. All right. Perhaps that was all. Before I forget, Professor, how would you like me to keep notes for our investigation? An excellent question, Amy. Organized records are vital to an effective investigation. Tap the trunk icon in the upper right of the touch screen. When you open the trunk, you will see several icons. To record your progress, tap the save icon. This will save your current progress. You can also view the puzzle index here. Tap this for a list of all the puzzles you've seen so far. Puzzles you have solved are marked with a circle, while unsolved ones are marked with an X. If you are particularly fond of a puzzle you've already solved, you can enjoy it again here. However, for a puzzle you haven't solved, you will have to return to the place where it first appeared. Hmm. Alright, alright, alright. Chatting, 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 chatting. Tap episodes, get exclusive information. Ooh, on certain characters. Be sure to check your options so you can view any new episodes. Alright, okay. Finally, there's a London Life button. Tap this button to leave this game and start London Life. I don't know what that means. Be sure to save your progress in the main game before moving on to London Life. Okay. Well, I'm certainly going to earn my way as an assistant by keeping track of everything. I have no doubt you'll get the hang of it in no time. Shall we move on? 
All right, a new episode has been added to the trunk. Layton's office. Huh. Well, let's look at this hat. Yeah, I suspected that hat immediately. What's all this stuff? There doesn't seem to be anything of any interest there. Yep, one in the... in that thing. Grand Bridge is in the southernmost part of town. Town looks like nothing but rivers, canals, and bridges. So part of the whole point of this game seems to be finding every hint coin that you can and then never spending them. Never ever. Not for any reason. Alright, let's talk to this lady. Hey there, Gramps. New in town? Gramps? The professor doesn't look that old. That's alright, Emmy. Do you know where the Triton residence is, young man? Sure, but I'm not telling unless you solve my puzzle. Rude. Puzzle number two, tourist spotting. Alright, these four photos were taken at the same location. Three of these were shot by tourists who took turns taking pictures of each other. One of the photos was taken on a completely different day. Tap the three photos that were taken by the tourists who traveled together. Huh. Hmm. So, let's see. Let's look at these pictures. What is different about them? There's a bird in the air, although that shouldn't matter, I don't think. There's a dog in two of these pictures, in the lower left corner. Oh, I see. The dog's in all three. Dog, dog, dog is in B, C, and D. Because he's very small in the background, if you can see on here. I'm going to say that it's everything but A. Some puzzles must be met directly. No! Oh no! Picarat's failed! Here? The details... There is a detail that shows which three people must have been traveling together. Okay. No! So, okay, it's not these three. Is it not this dog? Does that not matter? I wish these pictures were in higher fidelity. The shadow... I mean, oh, it is the shadow. That's what it is. These three all have shadows that are facing directly down. But this guy's shadow is going off behind him back here. So the light source would have to be coming this way for this guy. Whereas for all these guys, the shadow's pointing straight down. I guess that's what we're going for here. Let's try that. A, B, D. This took some creative thinking. Ah, hmm. No puzzle is without an answer. All right. Correct. You can tell which puzzle picture was taken together by looking at the shadows. All right. Okay. Amazing. You should know your puzzle for someone your age. Haha, <laughs> quite. Now then, you were going to tell us where to find the Triton residence. The old Triton guy lives straight across the rope bridge in the left of the crossroads. All live up in North Alley, but we had to evacuate the area. Evacuate? Why is that? The Oracle said it would be dangerous there, so we had to go. Oracle? Who? Or what is that? I don't know, but my mom says the Oracle saved more people from getting out. Hmm. Professor, what do you think this Oracle could be? I'm not sure, Emmy. Perhaps it has something to do with the giant in Clark's letter. There's a policeman here now, I think. Looks like a constable of some kind. Budding, hey? What time is it? Oh no, I'm late! How long have you two been standing there? If the chief hears our stationing, I'm done for! We've only been here a moment or two, no longer. I hope or, or didn't say anything will always happen. No matter, I trust you'll keep this to yourselves. Miss Tallery is closed to business. Promise you won't mention this to the chief and I can let you pass. Rest assured, our lips are sealed. Hey, thank you. You're quite a gentleman. I'll be off then. I've just sworn to protect you, though. Okay, alright. Nothing of interest here, seemingly. Let's look at this thing that they said was an episode. Layton's office. Professor, rise and shine! Mmm, Rosa, what time is it? Time to greet the day! You know, Professor, only philanderers and politicians sleep in their offices. 
Well, Rosa, sometimes it just cannot be helped. It's just like you couldn't help making a mess of the place again. Is this how an English gentleman behaves? Half open books all over the place like cookie crumbs? I'm still reading them. I'll put them away soon, Rosa, I promise. Well, if you would just put them away in your head, then I could put them away on the shelves. Oh, hello, Layton. Sorry to disturb you. <laughs> Late night, was it? Dean Delmono, come in. Yes, I was burning a bit of the midnight oil. You know how that goes. Not anymore, I don't. I'm a teen. If you have a moment, Layton, I could use your help with a puzzle. My dear little granddaughter asked me for the answer. Dean Delmono, you should be ashamed of yourself. A grown man who can't solve his own puzzles. I'm doing this as a service to my granddaughter, Rosa. <laughs> Allow me to take over from here, Rosa. Dean Delmona, let me take a look at that puzzle. Next time I'll see an open book on the floor, I'll just go ahead and put it on the shelf in the waste bin. Oh, Leighton, did you read the article about the Golden Garden? I've been fascinated by that legend ever since I was knee-high to a scarab beetle. What is your take on what they have discovered thus far? Oh, I'm flattered that you would ask. In my opinion, if they did discover the Golden Garden, then... And they would just mess it up with a fish and chip shop next to the ticket booth, mock my words! It's a bit lumpy for a potato head. Alright, so is that not a puzzle? I thought I was gonna get to solve a puzzle. Alright, well, that was an interesting, an interesting diversion. Oh, I don't care about any of these things. I don't care even slightly about any of those things. Let's progress. Hopefully not having a perfect Picarat score isn't going to mess anything up. Alright, let's go somewhere. Across the rope bridge, he said. Let's look around. Professor, there are two rope bridges here, but one is sealed off. And it appears that is the bridge we need to use. Is this going to be a puzzle? The ropes are all tied up in these ridiculous knots. I wouldn't even know where to start untying them all. Well, I suppose one could go through all that trouble, or... What, Professor? Undoing all of the knots appears to be quite an arduous task. One can do away with all the rope by cutting it in one place. Take another look, Yimmy. The whole thing can be undone with one cut. Yes, look closer and tell me where you think we should cut it. Alright, let's see what we have. Alright, you may cut the rope at one of five points. Tap the area you want to cut. Once you see the pointing finger appear over your choice, tap cut. Solve the puzzle. Where should the rope be cut? Let's see. Which of these is holding the most things together? This one goes over, around, over, around. Wow, that one goes all over the place. I think it's the top one, actually. I think this is the one. I'm gonna do it. Give me a rats. Oh, puzzle solved, apparently. Do I not get, like, an animation? They're just like, yeah, you did it. Correct, cutting that one spot will unravel the entire thing. I'm starting to get a feel for what what being your assistant is like. You're doing a wonderful job thus far, Emmy. Who do you think is responsible for this? Well, there's no sign indicating a bridge closure. I suspect it is the work of a local mischief maker. Right. If the bridge were unstable and dangerous, it wouldn't just be simply roped off, would it? This bridge may have its best years behind it. I don't think we need to worry, however. I wish I shared your confidence, Professor. I can't believe people still use this bridge. Do you have a fear of bridges? Of bridges? No. Of this bridge? Yes. You can't even drive on it. There must be another route into town for automobiles. Of course. Well, I'll move your car later, Professor. I'd hate for anything to happen to it. No need, Emmy. I'm sure it will be fine. Let's go ahead and make our way across. Wait, Professor, look. 
What? It's a mouse. Did I miss it? Could I not have gotten it? Back it this way. Yeah, hint coin. Hint coin. Yeah! Hint coins for days. Look, you're scared of heights. How do you get in then? All right. Let's go. Do we want to take the side route or do we want to go where they actually want us to go? Do we care about puzzles or plot? Maybe this early in we should go the direction they're telling us to go.